Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 22, as we continue our worst to first run here, and we are worst now. We had been ninth place for a bit, but we have since dropped down to 10th. Um, we do have a development point for you, so, sorry, just got some in my mouth. Uh, looks like we're going to continue to boast up reactions for now. Try to make that a little bit better. Yeah, so... Try to make our guys a little bit, I guess, more well-rounded if we can. Apparently you have a development point somewhere. Sure, breaking. I'm not sure how you got a point. All right. Uh, chassis manufactured. Good. Poor condition on the engine. We'll have to replace that. ERS can probably make it another race. Um, looks like we're fine there. Difficult race, blah, blah, blah. Cars. Okay, powertrain. So, engine needs to be swapped out for you. So, this will be your second engine of the season. Uh, you're already on your second engine of the season. Uh, ERS, that's not what I wanted. Uh, looks like your ERS can make it oh, maybe one more race. Maybe. We'll find out. Um, any facilities we want to change around, do anything with? I think we're okay for the most part now. Um, still have a couple projects being completed. Uh, we do have... That's right. We got some side pods done. So let's go uh, cars... Let's go to aerodynamics. Change. Um, I mean, it's not a not a big difference here, but we might as well go with what we can. So we're gonna put that on both drivers. We're making a couple more, so we'll have some backups. Um, we've developed a rear wing, but we haven't actually done anything to change it. We might ought to create some rear wing stuff as well, if we can manufacture anything else at this point. I guess we'll make four of them. So we have a few more of those just to try and make our car just a teensy tiny bit better. All right, we'll go with that. We do have a resume. Oh, no, we should not have done that. Then we, I forgot we're doing the threes. Um, can we change that? Edit project. We'll just do one of those. Um, or we can cancel the project. Or no, wait, or never mind. I probably could have canceled the project before. That's okay. Um, what we will do though is we're going to create a new project, manufacture rear wing, the rank three rear wing, which is even better, and we'll do. We'll do four of those. We'll have an extra, extra one somewhere floating about, but that's okay. All right, I think that's fine. Um, but we also can do another research project. And I think we're gonna keep focusing on... We really need to focus on what's gonna give us the best top speed. Looks like the rear wing has the best chance of you know increasing our top speed. So we're gonna keep focusing on that. Um, wow, apparently we've, can just max this out. I guess I should be doing half of our points for each project because they're just taking so long, but we're going to have more days coming up in each one. Minimal, uh, reduction here from next, for next season. So that's good. Uh, we definitely want to go for 
probably high speed performance as much as possible, I think. Because I feel like that's what we are suffering on the most. I don't know. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe not. So we're just going to keep cycling through some research for the rest of the season, I think. Kenneth, sorry about that. Apparently, I am allergic to losing. Um, all right, to the race weekend. If our board is ha is okay with us being off by one, then I'm okay because I don't mind falling back down to tenth place for this first season while we're setting up setting a foundation. I just don't know if the board will be okay with it. Let's hope it's not going to be Groundhog Day. The local rodents have disrupted more than one race day here in the past. The Canadian Grand Prix is ready to kick off, and the only drama on the tracks we want to see is the best drivers in the world battling it out for a place on that podium. Gilles Villeneuve is a quick, free-flowing circuit in parts, with a stop-start aspect thrown in for good measure around the chicanes and hairpin bends. Medium-speed downforce will play a large part in avoiding the wall of champions and ensuring success at this iconic track. We're about halfway through the season now, and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. The weekend begins here. Halfway through the season. All right. So some rain early on, but sunny days on race day. Fun. All right, so car part knowledge went down a little bit just because we had to install those side pods. But that, that is okay. Welcome back to what is proving to be an exciting... Yeah, I mean, I don't think we're going to be surprised by any results here. If we get a good enough foundation this first season out, we might have to try and press a little bit more next season. Assuming we're even still around next season, to be honest. I honestly don't know. And it might be a couple seasons worth of foundation. I, it's the hard to tell. So there's electricity in the air, but there's no... Once we stop being last place in like basically every category, I'll feel better about us, you know, being, you know, have a chance to push for something. I don't mean I don't expect us to be like high up in every category or anything like that. Just a couple categories where we can start showing some gains on our car parts and I'll start to feel quite a bit better. Um I'm just gonna have you do A. I'll just have you do B. And I realize I'm still being lazy. I could could uh plug some of these in myself, but I think this is okay. So ERS gearbox, gearbox is a little bit damaged, so we might not want to um, push quite as much with you. Your ERS is actually very damaged. I'm going to run it this time. I'm hoping it's going to be okay one more time. But we just really got to be kind of passive with stuff. All right, yeah, I mean, this is going to be not a very exciting race, I don't think. We have beautiful... The drivers are ready and raring to go. It's the Canadian Grand Prix. And it slides out, and away we go. Not really expecting much here. Yeah, enabled. I 
Honestly, I don't know that we push for anything. I, I just don't think we can... I mean, we're not that far behind the Aston Martin guys. It's not impossible. Well, no, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing. We are nine seconds behind them. So, yeah, we're just... We're not gonna... We're not catching these guys. We're falling further and further behind. They've done some improvements to their car, whereas we, we've dropped off. I don't think it's just the drivers. Our new, young drivers aren't that much that far off i don't think who's that that just crashed um I mean, I guess we could plug in some softs. It's a collision. I mean, we don't want to do both. We tried that last time, right? Where's 16 at? Oh, he's literally right in front of you. Yeah, I think we just do the one. Just because he was already on mediums, getting him on stops might help him a little bit. Well, I'm not going to attack yet, obviously, but here in a moment, we might attack. You know, what? let's go for it. Let's go all out. Hopefully I've thrown off, thrown off our plans a bit, but at least for, uh, for, uh, Theo. Oh! <laughs> we haven't got your message yet, but you're not doing, you're not having a good day, my friend. Oh. All right. Are you out out? Uh, Here's the replay. You must be out. Now we see the Williams here. Oh, you just smashed into him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. It's not good. Really disappointed with that. Let's hope it doesn't set them back too badly. It's not good. Yeah, you definitely, that's your fault, my friend. <laughs> oh. Alrighty then. And it's more than one car. Both Aston Martin guys are out now. <laughs> oh, I guess that's one way for, to get them knocked out. And we're still in it. I guess we're still in it. Wow, I thought we were done. Alright, um... I mean, we do have a time penalty, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, you definitely need to pit, because you were going to pit anyway. And we'll just bring out your hards, I guess. And be done with it. You are not going to pit yet.
obviously we're only up there because <laughs> you know crashes and other pits and other crazy things I thought it was already resumed. So what that was dumb. I thought, I thought, for some reason I thought I saw the pit car come in. And it didn't, it didn't show yellow up here anymore. So I just, that was a little silly. All right, that's fine. No big deal. I mean, we're good for a little while on the tires, so. Goodness gracious, what is going on with the crashes? Uh, you're going to ignore. I guess we can pit you. I mean, if we're going to pitch you, I'd rather pitch you just so you're done. for the rest of the race. I don't know, it might be a mistake. We're in fourth place with this guy, so it'd be nice to keep that, but don't think that's, like, like we're, we're, there's no way we get that positioning back now, right? So probably a mistake to pit. Well, we're gonna have to pit eventually, so it didn't really matter. So now I see the yellow, so we're still yellow. There's the safety car. The safety car will be in this lap. So the safety car came in, but we're still technically paced, right? Well, there's a safety car right there. So now we're resumed. I'm so confused. No, there's... Wait, there's a safety car back out again. What is with the crashes? What is going on? Uh, a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Well, our guy's out, which is sad, because we could have actually done something there. This is so crazy. We retire the car. I mean, if we play it safe, we've got points. Well, maybe <laughs> we can still technically drop out because there's some really fast cars that could pass us. Actually, there's a good chance we would only hit top 10. But any points would keep us in ninth place for sure. All right, no more resumed. Uh, let's just actually let's deploy fully. And we're on 
hard tires, so I don't think it's really going to help us that much. Yeah, we're, we're dropping down like, like crazy. I like how we're getting all these delayed messages. Red Bull moves up. That's unfortunate that we're going to we're gonna miss points. This is, this is like, if any race has a chance of getting us points, this is the race that had a chance of getting us points. All right, since we're not pushing the ARS right now, we're going to drop down to aggressive for a few until we get that built back up. Oh, my goodness. Well, there goes our points. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. What is with this track? Sounds like there's been a crash. Yeah, P0, P0. Yes, I got it. I got it. Man. What a weird run so close to some points but i technically we hit top 15 with both drivers right 11 12 13 14 15 uh i know top 15 with one driver gives us a couple hundred thousand bucks i can't remember if both drivers gets us anything apparently this is a very dangerous racetrack <laughs> penalties. Pretty long risk too. There's a chance we could have pulled out top 10. Because we we weren't planning on pitting again. There's a chance. Oh well. Well, good job all around. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. So close to a point. Didn't move us back up to ninth though. So, I guess there's that. I actually got exceptionals for both our drivers, so some good, good XP. I 
and we got a little bit of sponsor money, so good stuff there. Alrighty, well, let's get into the next race, I guess. Um, let's check this up and coming driver, Jack Crawford, 17 years old. Yeah, potentially. So, memorabilia room is capped out. It's going to help our morale a little bit, as well as team attractiveness. So, we'll take that. That's nice. Um. Oh, we, did I not create some more? Did we really lose that many? Okay, those are not great, but they're gonna have to deal. Uh, we just should go ahead and change out the ERS though. Gearbox is going to have to try and stay. Suspension's missing. Well, we can drop back down to the suspension. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. So car two is ready to go. Car one just needs some stuff. Which we can get built, I hope. So we did a chassis and a front wing, right? Get it in eight days. A little bit extra money, we can get it in five days. It's probably what we need. Uh, I probably need to actually edit that. It's front wing that we're missing, right? Yeah. So we just need to do the one. Because as soon as that gets done, we need to rush out a front wing as well. All the people with low morales, stop it. All right, front wing low stock. So we just finished the chassis. Didn't we? Oh, I guess we didn't get it yet. Oh, one day. Okay. There's the chassis. All right. Now we're done. Cars, missing part, chassis, change, install in car one. Okay. So got that done. And then we've got a manufacturer, a front wing. This one we can go and do three of. So we have a backup and then we'll go back and do the chassis later. So his contract ends soon. I think we will be replacing him. All 
Right, so both cars at least got equipment set up. Really a big question about these things. I think we've got to try and last a little bit longer. Like one more race, maybe. All right, so you both got side pods. Uh, that does mean that that particular project is done right. Yeah, so we could do manu more manufacturing. In fact, we can go ahead and do the chassis. Uh, we don't, I think we can do normal on these two. Of course, if we get into a race and we crash again, we're going to be not super happy about that. we're going to keep bumping the, this up as much as we can. It's expensive, but I just really want to get our drivers like completely decked out. That must be how our backup driver's getting uh, um, XP. Okay, so we got a couple rear wings installed. No, small improvements. Low speed's not great, but, you know, not the worst in some of the other areas, so got to improve where we can. Definitely feel like we should be bumping up some of these other ones as well. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Huge difference in up monthly upkeep too. I don't know if we can push for those quite yet. What's our spare front wings? Yes, I know, top speed. I get it. <laughs> We're trying. Oh, I didn't. I thought it was finished 15th. It was, it was the same in all of them. Sometimes it's fast as a lap. Okay, I had not noticed that. Or maybe it was a guarantee that we could have done. That might have been what I was thinking of. Okay, fair enough. My mistake. We're here in legendary Silverstone, where the very first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held back in 1950. It's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport, and the crowd are already crackling with excitement. Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars, with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. The season is about halfway through, and it makes me wonder, what else is in store for the teams? Well, there's only one way to find out. The competition is on. All right, relatively clear skies. With FP3 all finished, it's... Hey! 
not dead last. That's that's something, I guess, right? Maybe. Car parts knowledge moved up a bit. I mean, overall performance bonus not great, but no, that's that's it's interesting. All right, all right. I guess penalties for us is not that big of a deal. Because what are we going to be in uh, 23rd place? I don't think so. So, The time has come to fight. All right. So let's get into this. So most likely going to need at least a couple stops here. Just slightly different strategies here. Um, I'm gonna be pretty aggressive with both of you, actually. It does increase our engine wear quite a bit. We just go aggressive. I was thinking this just affecting tires, but I guess it does affect the engine as well, so. Now with our, oh, our gearbox is down to 13% now, oof. Do we have time to change it? I mean, with both of those, I feel a bit better about pushing it. But again, pushing it means it's going to put wear and tear on it more. Um, how are you looking? Your gearbox is not as bad. I think we will do... Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, let's try this. A somewhat overcast. Hold on tight. It's the British Grand Prix. It's lights out, and away we go. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race. Oh, we spun out. Get back in it, my friend. situation is you are P17. And there's an overtake from Williams. DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Sounds like someone's locked up. Oh, 
Alright, oh, come on guys. Oh, we're definitely starting to lose ground here. Just put it on neutral for now. Really not expecting much until we um, actually pit. So I think we're going to... We are on the hard tires. Don't expect too many gains out of that. All right, you were gonna go on to hards. Alfa Romeo just moved up a place. All right, you're gonna go on to mediums. So slightly faster. Sounds like we've had a spin. Was that a lockup on the track? Check the DRS. Copy. Can we gain any ground here at all? Come on, guys. 16th would be a really good finish. I don't expect it because Alfa Romeo is really good. But if we could stay ahead of Aston Martin with, with Powell over here, that would be really good. Looks like that was a position gained for Alfa Romeo. Oh, there's a spin! You are right on this guy's tail. All right, well, there's a little bit of a position change. And a new position just gained by Williams. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. Can we get that spot back? Have well, I have my doubts, but it looks like we just did. Um, got to harvest some. But we're gonna give it back again here in a second. All right, we gotta drop it back down to aggressive for the rest of the race, I think. And even then, it might not make it.
So that. Guess that was a little too fast for you. Someone spun out. All right, come on, guys. Can we get something here? There's really not much you can do. I mean, you're three seconds behind. I mean, it's not impossible, but a little unlikely. It really depends on how this pit goes. So if we stay at least in 17th, maybe... Dump everything, see if we gain some ground here. I think we'll st we're, we should stay in 17th. I mean, he's 30 seconds behind us. So we should be good there. Just a matter of whether or not we can go past that. Which I don't think we can. I don't think we're gaining six seconds. Not on those types of teams. And there's an overtake from Williams. No. Never mind. That was 33 seconds. <laughs> they might be going away. Uh, we're going to put you on aggressive, I guess, for the rest of the race. If you can get back out of this. Can you? Can you? Okay, you're back out there. We should be able to hold on to 17th. I'm just going to drop you down to standard. We got We just got to deal with the rest of this. You need to kind of keep pushing to keep the guy behind you off your tail. Sounds like a spin. Alright, we're just going to put you on I'm just going to deploy you first and then we'll go neutral I'm, not, I'm just going to I don't know if it matters right, we'll, we'll put you down neutral now Oh, woo Oh no, I was looking at the wrong thing I keep doing that uh, no, we're 17 seconds behind, so we're fine. Just settle in for the rest of the race. Enjoy 17th and 19th, which does put us, keeps us ahead of Aston Martin. So we'll take it. Not a bad, not a bad result, honestly. Not a bad result, all things considered. If we can stay against ahead of Aston Martin, that's that's really that is our victory for this first season through. Good work from the Williams driver here today. Yep, I'm okay with that. Hey, point. Had an impressive race from him. Only a good race from him, but that's okay. Getting some points. All right, well, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, so we've got the team hub finished. We'll get some more of that here in the next episode, but we're staying ninth or above. Um, we just finished... Um, which one did we just finish? We're in July, so we just finished the British Grand Prix in Silverstone. So, you know, we still got quite a few left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oof. So we're not really actually halfway through the race, the three through the season yet. We still got quite a bit left to go. That really tells me I've really got to start being a little bit more careful with my equipment. Because this is our only other engine right so we, we can't push it anymore it was fun while it lasted we've really got to just 
coasted in for the rest of the season, I think. So it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, again, this first season really just is foundation. So I'm having fun playing around with the mechanics of the races, but not super worried about them just yet. But uh, that will come to play at some point. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.